Back here at home, the CDC says flu levels continue to rise as we head into the Christmas holiday. 23 states, New York City and Washington, D.C., are reporting high or very high levels of influenza. ER visits for flu and COVID are also increasing. CBS's Lilia Luciano has more on ways to protect your family. We're going to listen right underneath Spider-Man here, okay? Five-year-old Winston Evans is getting a checkup after his mother got the flu. We were planning on hosting a bunch of people at our house for Christmas Eve and had to push that to New Year's, and so that's been really frustrating. Does your throat hurt? No. no. His pediatrician, Dr. Jennifer Shu, says her practice in Atlanta has seen a recent increase in patients with respiratory illnesses. We suddenly got slammed with flu about a week ago. It seems to be a lot higher, a lot faster and earlier in the season than I'm used to. Georgia is one of 17 states with high levels of respiratory illnesses. Nationwide, less than half of children and adults have gotten the flu vaccine, and the rates for the new COVID-19 vaccine are even lower. For RSV, there is a vaccine for adults over 60, but only 17% report getting it, and there is a shortage of RSV treatment for infants. Do you have enough? We do not have enough. We have a huge demand for it, but very, very little supply. Last week, the federal government announced 230,000 more doses of the RSV treatment for infants will be available in January. And the CDC warned low vaccination rates may force hospitals to ration care. Should people be concerned right now about rising cases? I think people need to be aware and get the vaccines when available, practice good hand hygiene, and don't spread your illness if you're sick. Hey, we'll see you later. Not a worry for Winston as he tested negative for now. The new COVID-19 variant JN1, which the World Health Organization has called a variant of interest, is spreading fast. Right now, it makes up around 44% of all COVID cases nationwide. Here in New York and in New Jersey, that's closer to 60%. But officials have not given any indication of whether it could cause more severe illness. Major. Lilia Luciano, thanks so much.